we doing guys? Uh, welcome to another Main Meister Look At video. Uh, today's uh, content, I'm going to be taking a look at uh, a Game Boy, a Game Boy uh, Advance to be more specific, or to be even more specific, a Game Boy Advance Micro. And it's this thing. Now, this, this came out, I don't know when it came out exactly, but I do remember it coming out pretty much about round about the time when the DS came out and therefore nobody was really wanting a Game Boy Advance. People were wanting the, the, the you know the, the dual screen touch screen the DS rather than you know old technology like the Game Boy uh, Advance. But uh, I mean the funny thing is I actually got one of these I got one brand new for eighteen pounds and I got it and I hadn't even opened it and then I quickly realised, why did I buy it? I don't have any use for it. I mean, I'm talking about when they first came out. And uh, I sold it. I sold it for 18 quid. Now these things, they go for quite decent money. Um, especially the sort of the, the non-red ones. Um, so anyway, I actually picked this up um, just about oh, two three days ago. I do have a red one which I'm selling. Um, but I just think, I thought I wanted to get a silver one. Because it's rather, rather nice looking. So yeah, to actually let you see the thing, you've got what you've got in here. This is the on-off switch. You've obviously got the bit here for putting your cartridge in. You've got your uh, headphone socket. You have got your is that start and select? I think it is. You've got a little uh, tried and tested Nintendo gamepad. It feels really really nice. You've got your A and B buttons. Typical Nintendo quality. And on the back here. You've got your charger, and you've got your left and right. Now, you know, I don't have big hands. Now, <laughs> in fact, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to get something out. Well, in fact, hang on a second. Right. To give you an idea of size, if you've never seen a Game Boy Micro, it is indeed aptly named. This is the 3DS XL. In fact, what I'll do is I'll open it up, actually. There's a 3D XL in all its uh, black glory, and this is the Game Boy Micro. So you can see just how small it is in comparison to its bigger brother. Really, really small. But that's not to say it's not a thing of beauty. I mean, it's without a shadow of a doubt, it is the most uh, portable machine with buttons you could ever buy you know you can fling it's not even I mean what size is it it's smaller than a packet of cigarettes it's narrower and it would easily slip in your back pocket or in your, your pocket with your mobile phone so yeah let's take a wee look at some of the games now I've actually got one of these multi cart things easy flash 4 um, with quite a lot of games so let's power this bad boy up now I don't know how it's going to look with the sort of stream of uh, reflection. Now one thing that probably isn't coming across in this video is just how actual, uh, sorry, actually pixel perfect, pixel sharp, bright, vibrant screen it's got. It really is gorgeous. Is that any better? Let's try and zoom in again a view bit more. You can see my thumb. <laughs> you can see I've got small hands and you can see just how big or how small it is compared to my thumbs. This is almost some kind of demo mode going on here. Volume's not hugely loud. I mean, it's absolutely perfect. You know, if you're in a place with not a lot of noise. But obviously, if you're in a, a public place, you would want to probably stick in uh, some earphones. I'm guessing I do eventually get to actually play this game. Right, let's try something different. This is Mario Kart Super Circuit. I think it's turned up. 
Yeah, that's turned up as loud as it can possibly go. Oops. You need to excuse me because I'm kind of hunchbacked over this tiny little viewfinder. Saying that, the viewfinder is about the same size as the actual Game Boy, but hunching your back over a console is not a good idea. Certainly now when you get to my age, I'm liable to not get back up again. I really need to try and figure out some better way of recording these look at videos because it's not ideal the way I do it. <laughs> so yeah, you can see there, Mario Kart runs pretty much perfect. Some of these uh, flash carts, believe it or not, it depends on the speed is it of the the speed of the is it the SD card. It can actually uh, cause games to run slow. So anyway, let's take a look at another couple of games. Okay, this is Gradius. I can't uh, emphasise enough just how gorgeous this screen is. I mean, it is. It's probably the before the DS. It was certainly it's certainly got the best screen of any uh, Game Boy Advance. I would say. All right, let's press start. Oh, it's Gradius Galaxies. There's only one thing I would say that's... Well, it's what makes this good, but also what makes it bad, uh, is the screen size. If, uh, if you've not got the greatest uh, eyesight, especially somebody who's uh, getting to a certain age, stage in their life, then... Uh, whoops, a daisy then I would, uh, it may not be for you, because the screen is very small, but that's, to my mind, that is what makes this such an amazing little console. Whoops, it's never a good idea to have too many speed ups in a Gradius or Nemesis because it just becomes uncontrollable. Like that. It's a pity you can't actually slow your ship up. I don't know if you can keep increasing the speed and then does it eventually slow up again? I'm not too sure. That's what happens. Ah, bollocks. Right, let's take a look at one last game. Okay, this is uh, International Karate. Quite see, I've never played this on anything other than the C64. It looks really nice, though. But in the, obviously, nowadays we're all playing games on like 50 inch TVs. This is the definitely the other end of the spectrum. You know, this, I don't know what the screen size is, it's probably about 
one and a half inches by two or something. It's really tiny, but you know, it certainly. I mean, I've not got the. Well, I mean, my, I've got. I can see up close, so it's absolutely perfect for me. Um, but like I say, if you're somebody that requires glasses, then be prepared to wear them for to play this machine because the screen is very small. But honestly, for uh, portable gaming on a bus or you know, stick it in the back of your pocket if you're uh, if you want something to do when you're in the toilet, then this is the ideal thing. Take that. <laughs> I have a hand there. Right, anyway guys, that is it. This is the Game Boy Advance Micro. Honestly, absolutely gorgeous little machine. Um, you know, the form factor is brilliant. Really small. Um, like I said, it may not be for everybody, but it's got an absolutely gorgeous looking wee screen. And the battery seems to last forever as well, so... Anyway guys, that is it. I hope you enjoyed watching the video. Um, please stick to any comments. If you've got any questions about this thing, just pop them below and I shall certainly do my best to answer it. Now as usual guys, thank you very much for watching.